All right, another adventure to a La Casa del Habanos. Or Lisa, here's, here's La Casa del Habanos. La Casa del Habano at Club Havana Club, Club Havana. So in the humidor, a rare find, Year of the Rabbit. Can't really tell what the price. It looks like five hundred dollars for that. Oh, that's looks like it's some collection of maybe an ashtray and um, cigars. Oh, they have the Monte Cristo Dumas. Uh, Nine hundred thirty-six dollars for the box. Of those. Ooh. The Romeo Dianas Nobles. This one is eleven hundred and thirty four dollars for the box. The Monte Cristos. This is twenty of the Malta. For eleven hundred and eighty-eight dollars. More Ramon Alanis. I guess those are nice. The uh, Upman. So out in the uh, drive to uh, La Camadoro, another place. Maybe we can get cigars. You can see the beautiful trees here. And uh, I'll explain the problem we had getting cigars, not having a credit card. Okay, this is at uh, Malia Habana, in the Casa de la Banos. Beautiful uh, humidors. And this was the humidor that last time I came, it was, they had cigars. But they are all gone. None in the humidor. The Malia Havana. They were rum. They were pipes. Very cool. $241 bottle of rum. $778. Havana Club, $212. Oh, here's a nice one. Maximo, only two thousand one hundred and eighty-nine dollars. Beautiful humidor. This gorgeous humidor here. Autographs. Boxes on the wall. Christmas, Christmas trees. Little lounge, nice. And uh, what they have left is in these. It's like even more towards the uh, back. But you can see, really, it's... Uh, pretty uh, pretty empty Where de Monterey Cuaba, Monte Cristo nice little lounge the Robena's picture Beautiful 
Humidor. Ja, ja. Punkt. Hmm. To give an idea of the box of Esmeralda, twelve Trinidad, eight hundred and nine dollars. May of twenty three. Monterey. Four hundred. Epicure number one. I, I bring you to my friend in Japan, but in uh, Malia, Habana, beautiful area with waterfall. And in the uh, bar area, and Lisa shopping. Okay, we're at the Hotel Commodoro, and uh, should be able to get some cigars in here, or check it out. Uh, our friend here, Tony's friend, he's driving today. Uh, this was a shop I've seen on other YouTube videos, from my friends, that uh, should be a good one. Yeah, I may get, I may get the packet too. This is the, uh, yeah, okay. This is the famous Margarita we, we see. Thank you, and you're rolling. Very nice. We've heard her cigars are excellent. Wow. Tony Bouts is excellent and pretty. It's double. Uh, double, double, that's true. Strong. Strong. It's too strong. Yes. And they have some cigars here, too. We haven't seen Punch. Punch is 14. And the Corsica Hebe is a crazy price. 69 for the Robusto. Monte Cristo is more reasonable at 19. Que de Orce that I picked up. And I uh, have some nice ones in here. The Wide Churchill, very nice. 17, that's an excellent price for the Wide Churchill. And then the ones I had at home. Uh, these are the uh, Linea de Oro. That's excellent. Trinidad. Trinidad, good price here. And uh, this is Margarita Specials. And I've heard these are just fantastic. Very nice. Ah, we're getting the lighting experience. My beautiful friend. I <laughs> have the oh, Cuaba Divinos. We haven't seen those. Artigas. Look at that beautiful humidor. Look at that. Wow. Very nice. Thank you. Cohiba Humidor. Cigarettes. Yeah, coffee. Yeah. Huh? And, uh, yeah, it's going to get a picture of the lounge. Yeah, it's good. With a humidor in there. Beautiful Romeo Julieta picture. And I'm excited about the cigar she's lighting for me. Very cool looking shop. So we're going to enjoy the cigar. So, we're at Margarita's shop. And I just got another one because they're so good. And um, just a fantastic cigar. Hey, Tony, photo photo bomb. Photo bomb. So my friend's here. So, yeah, Margarita's cigar at Worked Up Commodore. It's perfect. 
Beautiful shop. Picture Castro of Che Guevara. Very unique humidor. And look at this humidor. Wow. Churchill in the back. And then pictures up there. Che. Cigars from Margarita are the Hotel Commodore are as good as any cigar you have smoked here in Cuba. A little different flavor. Fantastic. Best thing? That's sitting in air conditioning. One more La Casa del Habano in Hotel Libre. We'll see if it's open. And how disappointing. And can you believe it's closed? It's 5.30 on a Tuesday. And it's closed. So, no marketing ploys here. Lots of goodies to look at, but that's about it. There's some cigars in there, really, and La Casa de la Bono. Very disappointing. This is Carlito's place, La Casa de la Bono. Oh, Lisa turning away again as normal. So, we're in there having great cigars. We saw Robenia's son and uh, just a beautiful store. All right, so we made it to the motherland of uh, <laughs> cigar shops. This is the La Casa de la We got our guide Tony, Billy, Lisa smoking a Cohiba cigarette, show the pack. And Billy and I picked up these uh, oil de Monterey. Let's see. No, get the pack out. Let's see. Where's the pen? It's supposed to handle like that. Cohiba. Cricket's presentation. Yeah. 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 How are you going to do this video? You know, how are you going to be a how are you going to be a video star? You know. But check out this store. <laughs> That's right, yeah. So, the great bar, cappuccinos, and um, this is the beautiful artwork, great store. And we'll take a little walk over here. No. Beautiful humidor. And, uh, loaded with beautiful cigars. It's okay? <laughs> okay. Here, here's my favorite uh, person here. She sells us the cigars, which are wonderful. Cuban flag. And we, we did find some Ramon. So they're nice. Trinidad. 
It's a beautiful store. Cohibas, mm. oil de Monterey. And then look at this beautiful humidor. The good life in Cuba. All right, so we'll take a little look at our stash here. We got the Ramon, very nice. Eric's favorite. Uh, July of 22 box date. 125. For 25 small Coronas. Very nice. <laughs> They're laughing at me. Especially her. You can see the smile. At least Thank you to Tony. Otherwise we wouldn't have been able to get them. So then, Billy got this nice box of Fonseca's. We're not quite sure of the size. Delicas. Delicacias. Delicious. 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 All right. So now we have it September of 23. And those are only 86. Mm. Again for 25. Smaller cigar. And then one of my favorites. The, I buy from my the Romeo. Yeah. And, yeah. and the Petite Churchills. Really good cigars. And those, July of 22, and that price, hard to read, but 291 was the price. And you can see they had the old price on there. They've marked it up. So that was from inflation, and that looks like it was 200 So they went up $91 from the price change with inflation, which is still quite a bit less than what the Cohibas were. The Cohibas in there were like eight hundred dollars a box so we're happy to get some and uh tony helped it out a lot but finishing up my uh when we got off the shelf the oil there's lisa with senior all right very good See the sign in Verdero. Shop inside. And it has a outdoor lounge. So some of the stuff they have, I don't even know if they've got them. The stores are so vacant. Mm. That's a nice leather Romeo, $98. Torch lighters, 53 and one from Habanos. Mm. Mm. Area to sit. A little bit more cigars in there. And then the humidor is closed, so that's the Kaba. But I don't know if they don't. Looks like they have cigars, but they don't. I don't know, for whatever reason, you can't go in there and purchase them. So, so I got this Juan Lopez. For $19, which is not cheap, but I've not had one of those. Hold on, excuse me, pardon. 
Here we had a... Hello again. <laughs> or at least... Uh, Bill, no. That's okay. Hold on. Oh, they're outside. So, let's see how this one Lopez is. Looks okay. So we're waiting for our coffee, cappuccino. And uh, I started this one little bit. Boy, look at that hair. Not everywhere. Nice breezy morning. Veradero. This Juan Lopez has uh, good flavor. Drawing good. Medium to mild, and um, I should have asked him the box name, but the label looks like should the label looks like dirty or something. But anyway, the scar it's good, nice flavor. $19 might be a little high, but it is crazy all the the lack of cigars in these Casa de Alabanos compared to what they were five years ago. And you just can't find anything there. We came in here before. We got limited edition Partagas. Um, great selection of Ramon Ionis in here. We bought boxes in here before, you know? And uh, they're just not on the shelves. Oh. Here's what I'm talking about on the label. See, it's kind of like dirty. It's got black stuff on it. And then, um, even around the edge there, I don't know. I'd feel a little better if the box date was like 10 years ago. I don't know what it is, but it's a little strange. So, might be a fake. Whatever it is, it's going to go better with this cappuccino. Cappuccino. Perfect. The best cappuccinos here. Get a picture of that. Smile for the camera. Uh, has her beach look. All right, I turned it off. <laughs> All right. So here we are at Hotel National. We're gonna check out the humidor. Sorry, there's probably a ton of backlight from the sun. It's just a great place to sit and smoke. Lisa and uh, beautiful day great courtyard you can sit out and smoke I'm going to try to find our way to the humidor. So we're in the first floor looking for the Abanus Lounge. Well, we found it. Abano's Lounge. Uh, 
Lisa's just loving sitting in a cigar shop. This is the Cohiba Lounge. We have Ideal? Ideal? Oh, uh oh. I gave you bad luck. Look at that. Nice. The cigar lighting experience in Cuba. Yes. At the Hotel National. Have to get it just right. We're having a couple of cohibas. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Tony's not gonna say. <laughs> he said, "How many times I tell you?" <laughs> Are you smoking real? Colección <laughs> Habana. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Nice. Quiet in here today. Nothing, huh? It's early. Sunday. Sun oh, that's true. It's Sunday. It's the best place for sleeping. Sleeping, yes. You can go to sleep, yes. To get the right aroma. Lisa's like, whatever. You don't do this with cigarettes. By the way. Speaking of cigarettes, she's like, oh. no, you're not allowed. No cigarettes allowed in here. No fumar. What are you talking about that? She forget, but you all the time say, "You smoking now?" She say, "Oh yes." <laughs> ah, more cedar. You have to be patient when you get a cigar in Cuba. By the time we have the cigar, you would have already smoked a whole cigarette. No, 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 no. Que mucho me da también. A lot of humidity. Now she's going to cheat. <laughs> that girl. <laughs> Just enough of the cedar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's how you do it. Wow. Look at that. See, Lisa, remember what she's doing. At home, this is what I'd like every time I want to get a cigar. <laughs> yeah. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Honey. All right. There it is, of course, yeah, the Ah, gosh. Can't zoom. There it is. This is a Siglo or Robusto. Perfectly good. Excellent cigar. It's good if you're cigars, Tony. Almost. <laughs> Blowing on bellies a little bit, yeah. so bellies restraining. <laughs> yeah.
Sí. So. Okay, we're going to see the puff and see if it's... should be one, two, and three puffs, right? The third puff should have it. Entonces, tres cappuccino y un espresso. Yeah. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. So there's the cigar lighting experience at Hotel National. So, here's our cappuccinos. And espresso in Hotel National. Our lovely white vendor. The Fort of San Carlos de Cabana. So here we are, we're on Tobacco Cafe, home of uh, the world's largest cigar. Thank you. There's a replica of the man, and uh, we met him last time. It's also a cigar shop. Yeah. A shop you can get your Cuban rum and your Cuban cigars. So we're here getting a cappuccino in the, uh, in the fort. And uh, you can see they have Cuban cigarettes. Now check this out. Check out the prices. You get the Uplands, which are great. Classics are 73 cents a pack. Rothman, 219 a pack. Cohiba cigarettes, 540. And the good, up, good Uplands, which are excellent, are a dollar to a pack. So here's the uh, world's largest cigar. You can see the length of it. 20 meters, April of 2005, and that is one cigar, it just continues on, <laughs> so that would take a while to smoke. Alright, so this is the humidor, beautiful cigars. Fonseca, El Rey del Mundo, Guaba, uh, various selections here, Cristobal, Partagas, Bolivar, Monte Cristo, Guaba, there's Vox Guaba, $9.25 a stick, which is a good price, and $23. That's a good price. The Ramon Alon, these are the bigger ones, specially selected. 406 for the box. Bolivar, Corona Jr., Juan Lopez, selection number one. 1335. For stick, December of 22. Trinidad, of course, expensive, media luna, $40 per stick. Sorry about being muffled, but I have a cigar in my mouth, hard to hold the camera. I'll go here, but it's a pan Pantella. $25 a stick for the Pantella. Not too bad. Comparatively speaking, now, Monte Cristo, it's the number four, $9.60, that's nice. 
अपना ही है There's Billy on top of the fort. Oh, and Lisa popping out. There we go. So they're way up there. So here we are sitting outside the cigar store. Nice and quiet. Lisa and Billy making their way down. So, as I mentioned, I uh, bought four cigars, two K de Orsay, two Upman. Here comes the driver. Be actually what they purport to be, as Tony said, because there's the black market in Cuba. And they're always trying to get cigars, make some money, because they can't make enough money on their own with the government jobs. So, I bought off sizes, rare ones in the hopes that they're more likely to be the authentic but they looked great as tony said they're certainly rolled in the factory but are they the actual blend who knows we'll try them we'll try them at home i can't believe all right so back here again these interesting july of 17 four dollars and ten cents beautiful and then this one, November 16th. Wow. This one, April 16th, $11. Good size. So I'm going to see if they'll, if I can get the box of those. At least what's left in them. Yeah, you go. Tell me So we had to break down and smoke this oil from 2016, I think. Yep. A four dollar oil. I mean, it's steel. I was steel, steel oil day. And honestly, I was worried that maybe they replace these cigars. Maybe they're not necessarily the ones rolled, but this is such a unique size. And I took the box, and I think if they were holding on to the box yeah. and just replacing them with right. with non-legitimate ones, he wouldn't have gave me the box. But that was the best deal in there. So you can tell, very smooth. Mm -hmm. Very smooth. Yeah. Yep. So we haven't seen a lot of the Hoyas. No. So good find. So now we're driving in Miramar, yeah. where all the embassies are. You can see these beautiful buildings. Welcome to the uh, main part. Yeah, when you compare this, we didn't go to the other factory, but the other factory looks like a factory. This looks like a palace, you know. Cohiba cigars. So, this is the proper way how we roll a Cuban cigar. Of course, first, the leaf has to be correctly uh, classified, otherwise, if you change one leaf, you change the whole <laughs> result of the cigar. And technically, it's not Cohiba. By the tiempo, are the mm. two top leaves for, uh, for the bat, but in this point, we start harvesting the leaf from bottom to top. So during 20 days, the plant, the whole plant, which in this point is like six six feet high, a piece of leaf. 
and Mr. Rook, and let's take a piece of Mendel Tiempo leaf. Okay. Yeah. In theory, Volado is supposed to burn faster. Right. Okay. As you can see, fast yeah. combustion, yeah. stable, but really fast. Okay. Let's try to do the same using Mendel Tiempo leaf. This yeah, is wow. Cool, yeah. yeah. So. Hmm. Huh. And this is the lay header? Media tempo. Um, media tempo, okay. So, because the concentration of organic components, their combustion is mm. slower. So, huh. uh, usually uh, you, you send it to, to England to make the scotch. So, they use it over there between 13 to 15 years for scotch. Mm. And after this, around 20 years here in Cuba for. <laughs> So we just came out of the, the first spot where they took the leaves and they ferment them, get the ammonia out, and then soak them in the Jack Daniels barrels. So we're walking to the other part of the factory now. The central bank. Okay. And we kiss all the women. So now we're hoping to try one, get a uh, cohiba here. <laughs> 